All right, y'all, welcome back to the channel. If you are new, my name is Obi. Uh, today, we're making more food. I'm a little annoyed because I wanted to make cookies first, but I had a pack of butter and I had it out here. And I knew I should have told somebody that I was using this because they put it in the fridge and now I gotta wait for it to soften up. We're making eggnog. I've never made this before. And the person who suggested this kind of caught me off guard because she's allergic to eggs. When she when she sent me the link, I was confused. I was like, why is she sending me this? I know today's not her day. She said she wanted to see it, so here we are. Everything we're doing should be on the stove. I don't think I should be, wait, hold on. Everything we need should be over here, except for we gotta wish some egg yolk with some, with some, with some sugar, I think. And I think that's the only thing we need to do over here, but everything else is over there. I think this pot might be OD though, because it's too big. You see this? It's OD today. Uh, Wait a minute, I need to do something with these egg whites. Go ahead and separate these yolks. Ew, man, I probably won't make those cookies tonight. I don't know how long these this eggnog is gonna <laughs> boil, but these cookies may not be made today. Three, I don't need to count them. It's only six in here and I need all six. So with these egg whites, I know uh, I made this before one time before and it took me a little bit to make it. I made um angel food cake. Possibly I may be making this in the future. If not, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these egg yolks. I mean whites. Got that snot out the way. Now I need half a cup of sugar. Yeah, I probably should've used a smaller bowl. They said whisk it until it's light and fluffy. How long, how long is that? It's a light and fluffy. Okay, well, I mean. We'll see. What is light and creamy? What would that entail? Is this, does this count as light and creamy? Cause I barely whisked it. I'm gonna keep going for another light minute or so. Yeah, nothing else happens. I'm gonna just assume that this is like the correct way. I could just watch somebody do it. I got the recipe pulled up right over there. But you know, I don't tend to ask for help a lot. So I feel like I can do this on my own. You know what I mean? Does this count? Does this count as light and creamy? Hold on, I'm, I need to make sure. I only have these six eggs. I don't feel like wasting any more. So I'm gonna keep whisking this until I feel like something else happens. If nothing happens, I'm gonna just assume that this this is what they meant. Alana, this is probably killing you inside. That's a real, I need to ask you that. Like, do you feel like, dang, I wish I could, you know, participate whenever you see like recipes that call for eggs? Like, dang, <laughs> if only, you know? I'm not trying to joke around. You know, I probably, I feel the same, same way about peanuts. Yeah, that's, that's as far as that's that's gonna get. That didn't change at all. So we need two cups of milk. One, let's not make a mess now. Two. This is good. This is by January twenty twenty third. We straight. Why is that chunky? Bring milk and I make soft. Stir often until mixture reaches a bare simmer. We don't have any nutmeg. Well, I'm not putting nutmeg in here, so I don't know if that's gonna make a drastic change. But we're just gonna have to thug it out. Turn that on high. They said, stir until it reaches a bare simmer. How much salt did they say? A pinch of salt. Okay, well, <laughs> make sure y'all know I'm not lying. Pinch of salt, there we go. They said, stir often. This is gonna be a, a break. So, I shouldn't have done that. That just made a mess. Why did it turn down? Why did it just do that? We're gonna throw this butter in the microwave. While well, that's coming to a simmer, I'm gonna go ahead and probably record this um, cookie joint. I know a handful of people who don't like eggnog. I'm not one of those. I enjoy a good, a good glass, good um, good cup full of eggnog. You know, I prefer it out of the carton though. I don't drink it out of a jug. I don't know why. It's just something about me. The jug just seems like, okay, I guess. The carton feels like right at home. I don't know whose home it is, but you know. <sighs> now we wait. We've been waiting. See, I'm afraid. I'm afraid to, to like make the cookies because if this starts boiling, I don't know if that's gonna ruin something. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna just go ahead and make the cookies while this while this simmers. Cause there ain't, ain't no point just sitting here waiting for this to finish. What I could, you know, double multi multitask. You know. Uh oh. Is that simmer si simmering? That's hot. Yeah, that looks like a simmer. That looks like a simmer. There's something I learned watching a video about making hot chocolate three different ways. I forgot where it was from, but I think I think it's from Mexico. I don't want to ruin anything or like make assumptions, but I think it was Mexico. They said that they whisk, it was like a, a certain type of whisk. It was like a wooden whisk, right? And they whisked it like this, you know? They whisked it like this to add air throughout the entire joint and make it like lighter. It's sticking to the bottom, let me 
turn that down so it doesn't burn. Is that a simmer? I'm gonna just assume that's a simmer. Turn that down to medium. Get a big scoop of this. Put it in an egg mixture and you know, temper it. Oops. Yeah, that's burning. I smell it. Is it cooking? Please don't. Please don't cook. Is that is that cooking? Because I've tried to temper plenty of times before and has never turned out the way I wanted it to. It's always like end up cooking, cooking the egg. So I'm like, what am I doing wrong? I'm gonna move this over there so y'all can see what I'm doing. Why is it like, hmm, wait a minute. Did I mess up? Hopefully I didn't mess that up. I think this is tempered. I think this is tempered. It doesn't look like it's cooked. Hopefully I didn't mess it up. I would hate to have to go get six more eggs to redo this, but add this back into the pot or pan or whatever you use. And then I'm supposed to stir constantly until it thickens up. Then you put it back on the heat. Um, oh yeah, I did just wash it off. That's what that is. It's gonna, they said it's gonna thicken up once we put it back on the heat. They say stir constantly. Am I reading that right? Whisk constantly for a few minutes. Okay. Well, I guess we're here for a few minutes. They didn't say add the vanilla yet. They said whisk until it's constant or whisk constantly until it's thickened. Or it reaches 160 and I don't have a thermometer and I can't look at it to know, oh yeah, this is 160. Here's 160, I can't do that. So we're gonna go until it thickens up. Let me, while I'm here, let me make sure I got what I need for these cookies. This feels awkward. Um, why is there vanilla in here? Bouillon, vegetable bouillon. Okay, I'm gonna take a cream with some pot. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It may not be in here, it may be in here. Is this thickened? No, nah, that's still loose. Unfortunately, we don't have cream of tatar, so. Oh, wait, hold on. Who in, their, who in their right mind? Well, not right mind, but like, let me try this. Like, whoever thought of like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put eggs with some sugar and milk. See what that does. Well, that doesn't look like it's thickening up. Yeah, that's that's frothy. Godly, I hate I hate tedious tasks. Is that rising? Can't can't be. Impossible. Can't be. It's been a few minutes, so you know I'm gonna just go ahead and let that sit. Do you need cream of uh cream of tartar? Is that some? That's lemon poppy. That's lemon poppy. I don't need that. You wanna wish this some more? Is that thick? No, it's not thick. It don't feel thick. I know my grandma got some, but I don't want to bust. Oh yeah, it's getting thick now. I don't want to bust in her house looking for cream of tatar at two for the two fifty in the morning, three o'clock. Yeah, that's getting thick. All right, I'm gonna let it get a little bit thicker. No, no, no. Yeah, I, I feel like this is good. I feel like this is good. It looks thick. That looks thick. Did y'all see that? Hold on. Let me see if I can get a better angle. That looks thick enough. Yeah, that looks thick. I think, I think we're straight. I think we're straight on that. Um, what? Wait a minute. What did I just uncover from the depths of this pot? Why is it chunky? Hold on. I, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, hold on. I, I need. I need to see something. I need to see something. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I need to clean that up too. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is that cooked egg? Is that what this is? I'll throw that right there. Put that right there. I don't know what else to put it in, but we gotta investigate why this is chunky. All right, all right. I'm gonna wash all these dishes too. That's that's the crazy thing about it. Let me switch hands so y'all can see. That's more egg than anything. That is the entire bottom. Wait, nah. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> now nah, we gotta talk about something. We we gotta let's talk. We gotta talk about it. We gotta talk about this. Y'all seen the entire process of me putting the warm milk into the eggs. Y'all see me do it. I even said every time I try to temper some eggs, it always comes out cooked. How did this happen? Y'all y'all seen everything. How did this happen? Hold on now. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. May not be too bad after all. I just took a little taste, a little sippy sip. It, it, it don't seem too bad. 
It's a little eggy. It's a little eggy. I'm not gonna lie. It's a little eggy. I put a little too much vanilla in here. Maybe it was a nutmeg. Maybe the nutmeg has some properties in it that made the egg stay still. What's crazy is y'all seen the entire process. I did it and the eggs didn't look they like they were cooked whatsoever. Hopefully that's just something that happens to everybody, but I doubt it. I really doubt it. Okay, so based on my assertion, for my taste test just now. Ladies and gentlemen, I made pudding. This is pudding. This is pudding. This is an eggnog. This is pudding. <laughs> this is not eggnog. All the egg is right here. This is all the egg right here. This is pudding. I made pudding. Y'all seen the process. I wasn't tweaking. Y'all seen everything I did. I put the warm milk into the eggs. It wasn't at a boil that said simmer. It simmered. Y'all seen it simmer. It said, whisk until it's thickened. I did that. You know, y'all seen it thickened. Then we then we came to this this conclusion right here. We seen we seen this. Strained it out, tasted this. It tasted okay. I'm not gonna lie, it tasted, it tasted all right. But this is this is pudding. This is real loose pudding. It said it should thicken once it once it um cools down. But if this thickens, I'm I'm glad I put it in this little con oh that's hot. But I'm glad I put it in this container. Everything that I did was what they told me to do. There's two variables: tempering the eggs. Number two, it was me whisking because I did stop a couple times to go do stuff and look for stuff. Probably should have kept whisking the entire time. And I think that's why there's like a bunch of egg, egginess at the bottom right here. I don't know. At this point, <laughs> it's just whatever. So mm -hmm. anyway, I made pudding. So if you want, if you want to learn how to make pudding, you're welcome. We're making cookies next. So if you like this video, please would like make sure you subscribe to join the hive and share this video with your friends and family. Well, yeah, share it anyway. It's entertaining. So they can join the hive as well. Make sure you turn my post notifications on so you know that I'm posting. I love y'all. I'm out. Adios.